Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, as you can see on my screen, we have the Catalyst boss battle preview, which we generally don't get for Heroes Jubilee. So, I'm gonna go over for all the beginners that have just started during the anniversary who have not yet had to complete a Heroes Jubilee, what it is, why it's so time consuming, and what you're gonna really be expecting from Jubilee Catalyst. Because I know I've, you've heard me mention it, we've missing Jubilee Blitz, we're getting Catalyst, and as you can see, it's gonna have both regular boss battles and turn limit boss battles. And right now, you don't know what that is, so I'm going to take my time and explain it to you in the most simple way possible. So, Heroes Jubilee is something that generally happens twice a month, and there are two different versions. There's Jubilee Blitz and Jubilee Catalyst. It used to be one, we only got one a month, and then they split it out for extra rewards and for time, uh, time wasting. So, it is a server-wide ranking event, so all the players on the North America server compete against each other, all the players on the Asia server do the same thing, Europe and la da 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 da. And it is a series of battles that you accumulate points in. And then it takes all of the points that you've um, gathered over however many stages it is and combines them into one big score and then takes that score and ranks it against other people. So it's um, before we got Valor Cup, it was the closest thing we got to PvP because it was you were playing against other players technically, just not in real time. They're, they're playing against set teams and AI and certain fights, and it was broken out between normal battles, which there are many of them, but there's only really three that actually affect your score heavily. And then, by completing those normal battles, you received tickets to beat the boss battle. So I'm going to bring this over real fast right here. And as you can see, we have Jubilee Catalyst, which is the one that we're going to be receiving. And there are Normal Battle Expert 3, 2, 1, Normal 2, 1, and then Beginner 2 and 1. So there's four stages that don't matter, because as long as you beat them, you, you will get your max score right here. The Expert stages is where your scores definitely start to fluctuate. And they be fluctuate because they're type neutral, but they require specific teams to get the best score. So newer players coming in who are not going to have access to every single unit in the game and every single strategy are definitely going to suffer in score right here. But if you're just starting, please do not expect to place highly. All right, just please keep that in mind. It's unfortunate Jubilee caters to whales, whales, and people who have a varied team selection. So, Normal Battle 1 will be against a certain enemy. It's either going to be like three bat, or like three phases and three bats or something, or Normal uh, Expert 3 is going to be against one enemy who has a lot of guard and defense, and you're supposed to nuke it down. The teams will vary, but as you can see, my scores also vary, and I have individual rankings for each stage. So, this 39.8 was rank 13 on the NA server at the time of recording this, and then rank 9, and then you can't see my Normal one, or my Expert 1. So, by completing these stages, you will get the score, and then that will be combined. And you will also get tickets to go play a Catalyst boss battle, which, as you can see here, this is a turn limit boss battle, which it does say turn limit right here. So, you have a 7 turn limit and a 10 turn limit, and these can vary. They won't be 7 and 10, they might be 5 and 8 or something like that. But... This, for turn limit, the enemies cannot die, all right? You're just supposed to do as much damage as possible and maintain the highest amount of HP possible, and then it will calculate your score from that. So there's going to be a score counter on the left-hand left, left hand side, and then you have seven turns to do as much damage as possible while keeping everyone alive and topped up with HP, and that will give you the best score. And then there's the normal Jubilee, regular boss battle, which is going to look like this. So, boss battle 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this was against Octogram Dagrel, and the objective here was to kill him with big, big damage, alright? The normal boss battles, 
don't have a hard turn limit, like, because the turn limit, after 10 turns, the fight's over. You're done. You can't do anything else. But for the normal boss battle, there is a turn where you will get maximum points for your turn limit. And then if you go past that, then it starts deducting points from your score, but you can still continue the fight. But in, let's say, I think this was like eight turns or something. On turn eight, you needed to have him as low HP as possible. And you need to have your nuker fully buffed, like ready to go. So here, if this was turn eight, you would need to have full stacks of Veldora, Milam, full stacks of Valentine, Shinsha, Rimaru. You'd need all those buffs, and he'd need to have, like, red HP, like, so you couldn't see it. And that is what will get you a high score. If you try and nuke him when he has a full HP bar, you're not going to get that much damage, because it calculates how much extra damage you do past his health bar for your score. So, that's how Jubilee boss battles work. And the fact that we're going to get both regular and turn limit is going to make me think that it's going to look like uh, this image right here. Uh, let me zoom in. So it's going to look like this. So this was the Jubilee for the half anniversary catalyst. And because they released both space units and then that wonky kind of double banner dark, they split Jubilee up into two stages are dark and two stages are space. I expect them to do this same kind of thing here, except instead of splitting the typings, it'll be splitting the type of Jubilee boss battle. So when this comes on Thursday night, I expect boss battle one to be like turn limit five or seven or whatever. And then boss battle two will be this traditional kill the boss with big mommy damage. Boss battle three is gonna be your extended turn limit fight and then EX is going to be more big mommy damage from Milam. That's how I expect it to be. They could flip it and make boss battle 3 the big damage, and then EX is going to be the long turn limit. It really doesn't matter. What I expect is there's going to be two turn limits and two big mommy damage stages in whatever order they choose. So be prepared for that. The fights are going to be type neutral, so again, you can use the dark team. Whether or not that's going to work for the highest score is going to be up in the air because we don't know what the stage is going to look like we don't know what buffs the enemy are going to have and most of the time most of the time you're going to be using the hero and protector hakuro all right those are the two big time units that always have a place in jubilee there are, are other teams you can use and the big sweaty try hard the whales they do find other teams however for the general public Hakuro and Hero are going to be your mainliners, all right? Because Hakuro gives those points and changes to oranges. Hero gives you the rewind because most normal battle stages have a three turn, like, turn max limit before you start losing points. And it's sometimes very difficult to kill all the enemies in three turns. So the Hero giving you rewind is essential because it's essentially a fourth turn. Uh, and also she's a buffer, so... You also receive milestone rewards for clearing the normal battles. Uh, they're not great. They are actually pretty ass rewards. But at the end of Jubilee, which takes about a week, so this will start on, what, the, uh, the 17th for me? Technically the 18th in UTC time. That will go for a week until the 24th, which is the start of the next meta, the movie meta. So we have a week. I do two videos for Jubilee. I do one that only focuses on normal battles and shows a few teams per each Expert 1, 2, and 3 stage. And then I do a separate video that goes over the boss battle, and then I use a couple different teams for that in case you have the ability or you don't have you know the perfect team that you should be using. So those will be coming out um, probably like Saturday, Sunday. If Jubilee is Thursday night, um, I, t I take Wednesday and I grind and I test teams and then I start recording and putting out videos Saturday and Sunday for this so feel free to you know have at it try your hand see what kind of score you can get and then when my videos come out see if you can replicate that and then you know increase your score and the you're only playing against other people so the top 20 are gonna be pretty set as long as the whales play everything else down below is up for grabs and that's just you know the 
the reality of gacha games. The people who spend a lot of money, who have a lot of good units, are going to get a higher score in this event. So, that's, uh, that's kind of it for a Jubilee breakdown. We've got the normal battles, we've got normal boss battle, we've got turn limit boss battle. These are the things, these are the exact things that you're going to see come Thursday. Catalyst, Catalyst, boss turn limit, and then Blitz, but this is still a normal boss battle. So, I will be streaming on Thursday, doing some initial run-throughs of Jubilee, so you can take a look and kind of join me for that, ask some questions regarding Jubilee. But, that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.